everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me along in the process of my kitchen unboxing if you're new to my channel hi my name is Laura I'm a 22 year old kitchen designer and today we are going to be unboxing my kitchen so if you haven't seen my last video I'll make sure to link it in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out so what I'm starting with right now is organizing. I like to get everything organized before I start unboxing anything so that I make sure that I am in control and know what I am doing. So what I'm starting with is small appliances such as the toaster and the blender, coffee maker, just the little appliances like that. I knew right away where I wanted to put these so I wanted to start somewhere where I knew where I was going with some of the items. So this was around the time that my fiance was getting off of work so he ended up calling me so that was me taking his phone call but back to organizing the small appliances i have this blind corner cabinet next to my stove where it's hard to reach all the way to the back so i wanted to make sure to put some of the appliances in there and i struggled quite a bit with that box that was a quesadilla maker it took a while to get out of the box So in that blind corner cabinet, I wanted to put appliances that we don't really use that much such as the ice cream maker all the way back in the back because it's not that easy accessible and you can see me struggling right there of organizing the counter. I'm still not quite too happy with how that got but it's a work in progress so you can see me putting some of the appliances that we don't use that often into the back and I realized I forgot something in the living room which is the soda stream which I barely use but I want to use more often because it might help me drink a little bit more water. My fiance got home during this time so I was checking in with him. He's unpacking the upstairs right now and he's getting together his gaming room. Next on the to-do list was to unpack all of the glassware that we have. This is my fiance, his name is Kevin. He'll make some appearances in my videos every now and again. But back to unpacking the endless amount of glassware and mugs that I have. So right here, I was unpacking one of my favorite items. These are what I call teeny tiny salt and pepper shakers. They were my grandmother's. I used them all throughout growing up. I absolutely was in love with them. They're just salt and pepper shakers, but they are so tiny. So I was so happy to find those in my boxes. I hope through these videos it gives you a little bit of motivation to either start unpacking some of your items or to do a general cleaning in your house. I know watching these kind of videos really helped me get inspired and motivated to do some cleaning in my house and to just get some things organized in my life. So I hope these videos can do that for you as well. Can you tell I have a bit of a mug collecting problem? It's fine though. This one's probably one of my favorite got it from Ocean City and it's a little whale. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's so cute. And this one too. This one's just really, really simple. It's from Starbucks and it has a little bit of an embroidery pattern on it. So it's just nice and textured, but yeah, I have a lot of mugs. So time to get back to unpacking. After admiring all the mugs that I have, I was making sure my phone was playing some of my favorite vlogs, which is Caitlin Nyer. I was been watching hers and Lopsky's Life on YouTube. My fiance found a dead cord, so he was throwing that to me. trying to organize this cabinet into glassware on the bottom, my mugs were on the second shelf, and then I have a bunch of plastic cups that I put on the third shelf because we don't normally use those, we use a bunch of the glasses. And then I have some Christmas mugs, so I was using some of the seasonal stuff on the top shelf which obviously I can't get to very easily, so I wanted to put some items where 
I couldn't normally reach and I didn't need them all the time all the way on the top shelf. Time for a snack. My favorite go-to snack for just a little pick-me-up is just carrots and some hummus. So here I'm just snacking on some petite baby carrots as well as some tribe Mediterranean hummus. If you haven't tried any of that hummus, I'm telling you, you are missing out. I am absolutely in love with that hummus and it just makes for a really great snack with either some carrots like I am here or even some broccoli or cauliflower. But back to unpacking now. So I got my plates out and so I'm just going to be organizing those. And I do apologize, but I didn't realize that my camera is actually about to run out of storage space. So I, like I said, I really hope you found some motivation in this video. Thank you so much again for joining me on this video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. I would love for you to do so and click on the notification bell so you are notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.